we gotta dive deep into the cells and break down what's going on with inside of the cells. Now, if you look, this is how it goes, the atom. You get Atum, when you start really getting into the Egyptians, you get Adam, when you get into Christianity, you get Adam, when you get into the Hebrew, we can keep going so on and so forth. And when you get into the scientific community, because science is a part of somebody else's culture, science is really spirituality, they call their first man Atum. Y'all get that? Atum, Adam, Adam, Atum. All religions come from the body. First, you got Adam. Atoms then grab a hold of other elements and create themselves called molecules. These molecules then create cells. And this shows you that 80% of an atom is created of nothing. Nothing. Show you that we are truly electrical beings. If what truly make you up have 80% of nothing in it, then who are you? But atoms make molecules. Molecules make cells. These cells make tissues. These tissues then make organs. The organs make systems. And then the systems make this black man right here or this black woman. Now we're starting to see. Now we, we dive in deep into the cells. Because we realize that we are cellular people, right? So we didn't took a cell, we didn't biopsy the cells. Now I'm getting a big old magnifying glass and I'm zooming in on the cells. When I look at the cells, the cells is a miniature you. So your body is made up of organs, right? Tell me why you have something called organelles in the cells. All right, all organelles mean is small parts. Your body have organs and your cells have organelles. You have something called the mitochondria. The mitochondria organelle functions as the liver of a cell. So when you see this thing inside of a cell, that's the liver. It takes oxygen and it releases carbon dioxide. CO2 constituent change, or what you call ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is a phosphate lipid backbone that gives the cell energy. You can sleep without ATP. You can get up without ATP. You can't even survive and live without ATP. Everything that moves needs a signal and energy, and that's what ATP gives you. So we have something called the mitochondria or the organelle that actually function as the liver. Not only that, we have another mitochondria that function as the respiratory system. Can you survive without breath? So the actual lungs and respiratory system of the, of the cells is called the mitochondria. It breathes for you. You see that? Because the moment, if I put my hand over your mouth and over your nose, I give it two minutes, you out of there. What about people that suffocate in their cells with poop, with waste, with metabolic waste? With alcohol, you know alcohol